Listen, but there is some kind of hopelessness. It turns out that we are all sinners and we are going to hell only because of our thoughts or something. And people have both kindness and love. And people are able to show and show the best human qualities. This is certainly not something I like to talk about. Well, yes, there is a spiritual component in a person, too. In general, knowledge about the dual nature of man, spiritual and material, exists in all religions of the world. And in occult sources you can also find this division. Even the Masons know about it. By the way, it is a curious fact that Freemasons with the dumbest people on earth consider atheists. Because to deny the existence of the spiritual world. What is this but the biggest stupidity? Not a single atheist became a Freemason during the entire existence of these orders. Any normal practitioner knows about the dual nature of man, because without knowing the basics, no real work will work. And the key point is what? Again, in who a person is. People from pride make the mistake of identifying themselves with the soul and believing that if the soul reincarnates, then the person himself also reincarnates. And since I am a soul, a divine particle, then automatically I am good, and everything will be fine with me after death. This is complete nonsense. Let's pay attention to this. Of course, I don't want to get into philosophy, but well, I'll have to enlighten you a little. So, a person is a complicated being. There is a spirit in him that strives to break free, to reach the heavenly plane. This is actually who a person is. But, also speaking in the language of orthodox mystics, there is flesh in man, that is, a force that opposes the spirit, which is the source of sin, and only by defeating it can one achieve the liberation of the spirit from the captivity of matter. The action of the flesh manifests itself in a person's life through our own consciousness, through thoughts that come into our head, images, desires. And if we speak in religious language, then this is a personal devil or without, who sits inside every person. And the most fatal moment is that 99.9% .9 of people perceive themselves just as a demon, believing that these are my thoughts, these are my desires, this is how I decided, this is how I think, this is how I perceive the world and so on. It may be hard to realize, but I will say it anyway. You as a person, this is not what your consciousness perceives. You are not consciousness. The whole mess that happens in people's heads with all the pictures and emotions is like ripples on the water created by the devil so that a person could not see his true reflection on the smooth calm surface of the water. Do you remember how it was in the movie Revolver? His biggest trick was that he made you believe that he was you. That's somewhere like that. Now an idea has come to me, by the way, I have watched this film several times, and I wonder if the director himself understood what meaning he was laying for him or not. Well, yes, most people really associate themselves with the body awareness. What's wrong here? In my opinion, it's generally stupid to consider yourself a body. It's obvious that it functions absolutely autonomously, without our participation. At the same time, they also manage to control us, indicating when he needs to go to eat, when to sleep and all that stuff. The body. This is what our image, the image of a demon, looks like, but only in this rough material world. Accordingly, the presence of a body contributes to the fact that the spiritual component of a person can stay in this material world and receive his experience of knowing good and evil. In short, a man. This is an immaterial being, he is a spirit. Only here he sits in the same bottle and without. And in fact, our body is the body of a demon, often he controls it, although the human spirit should have been the master, but today he is not.